There are two words over your life this entire week and for the rest of the month. And those two words are leave it, leave it. Your life is in the middle of a transition. And there are a lot of you that think that the tools you use in your previous season and how you worked in the previous season is what you need for your current season or your season that's on the way. God is saying, don't sell it. Don't auction it off. Don't try to bargain it. Just give it away. You are what I like to call in an Elijah and Elisha season. For the Lord is going to have you literally give away that which served you in a previous season so that you can move forward in your next season. Everything you needed, you learned in your last season. Hear me. There is nothing that you need in that previous season that can serve you for where God has taken you. God is saying what you need in your new season is already there. You must be willing to embrace and to embark on the newness of God. There's, there's a sense of overwhelming joy from a lot of you to begin to walk away from a job you worked for years or even to walk away from a ministry you were part of for years or even to walk away from a community you lived in for years. Why? Because this is the season to leave it. And if you tried to carry something like Abraham tried to carry Lot into a new season, it's going to cause you further damage later. I hear the Lord saying to, del to tell you to leave it. You got to leave it where it is. Because if you don't leave it where it is, it's literally going to cause you even more pain. I hear the Lord saying today, you have to be willing to walk away, but walk away with joy knowing and embrace the new season that lies ahead of you. There are a lot of you that are struggling to leave it because all you know is what you had in the new season. All you knew is your previous relationship. All you knew was that old job. All you knew was that business. But here the word of the Lord today over your life, the Lord says to leave it. Your new season awaits you. And if you agree with his word, I need you to type a graceful exit.